Hi everybody, Frank Gray here with the latest edition of Real Estate IQ. Last week in the course of three hours, I had two different people ask me if a brick home could get termites. The simple answer is yes, absolutely. And that's because a brick home is not really structurally made of brick. The brick that you see behind me is, even though they're full bricks, it's just a brick veneer. Uh, it, it's more for decorative purposes than structural support. Um, homes in Texas are built on wood framing. And that wood framing is quite tasty to termites. They go right through that brick, through openings in the brick, into the wood framing of the home and have their way with the structural supports of your home. Now, there's a couple things that you can do to make sure those termites can't get in. Or if they get in, you can know about it pretty quickly and put a stop to it before they do much damage. I'm gonna hit reverse here real quickly and show you a couple examples of what I mean. So, first of all, the termites typically make their entrances in a brick home through these weep holes. You'll see these at the bottom of every brick home. They're designed so that uh, if humidity builds up moisture in the walls of your home, the moisture can run out through these weep holes and you avoid getting mold or mildew in the walls of your home. However, what often happens, and, and actually I'm going to go reverse and you can see it, is that homeowners in their landscaping zeal pile up mulch where it actually covers the slab and goes up onto the brick ledge. Now that's a real problem because if there's a lot of exposure below these weep holes, you can see if a termite is coming into the house. They can't be exposed to light. So what they do is build these mud tunnels. They're about the thickness of a pencil. And you'll see them going right up the exposed slab and into those weep holes or other cracks in the brick if there are some structural cracks. But when you pile up soil, mulch, or other landscaping materials onto the brick ledge, you have no way of seeing those mud tunnels. In fact, the termites don't need to build the tunnels. Thank you very much. You save them a lot of trouble because they can just go straight from their underground dens right into uh, the uh, through the brick and into the framing of your home. So, can a brick home get termites? Yes. What can you do to prevent it? Pull away the mulch and the soil from your home so you have at least four inches of exposed slab. That way you can see if they are making their way into your home. And, and oh, by the way, make sure those weep holes around your home are clear because they're there for a purpose, not to let termites in, but to let the moisture out. Sometimes when we pile up landscaping or over time, uh, soil gets in there and they get clogged and that can lead to a real problem with moisture, mildew, and ultimately mold in the walls of your house. Well, that's it for today's edition of Real Estate IQ. My name is Frank Gray. If I can ever answer any of your real estate questions or help you in any way, just let me know. Thank you.